Okay, here we have uh, an image of a of an embedded iron meteorite. It had to have struck at hypervelocity in order to penetrate the surface and melt into it as it has. And we can see the darker fusion crust on here and we can see uh, areas where a little flaking has occurred. We can also see some rust in on a perimeter of it. And interesting enough, we also see a an additional titanium meteorite that hit after the iron one did and is laying on top of it. And so titanium around here, the iron with fusion crust, a titanium small uh, titanium meteorite, these are millimeters, so it's slightly smaller than one millimeter would be considered a micrometeorite. The iron meteorite would be about four millimeters long, two millimeters high in this image. We see what looks like another piece of an iron meteorite here and here and here. Also down here we have one. Now we see impact lines coming up from the bottom. We see impact lines coming down this direction from here. We see impact lines coming in from the sides. We have impact lines here and here. And so we can see that just this one little area, just one little area, one, one centimeter by one centimeter, has got an incredible amount of activity going on with the fusion crust and the fact that the iron meteorite is embedded as a result of hypervelocity impact really gives us a wonderful evidence as to the origin of this object. Okay, and this image, we see an embedded piece of iron. You can easily see the outline of it since it takes on a, a grayish look compared to the silver in the titanium. You can see this piece of iron has been struck and has ridges ground into it from an impact coming at this angle. While the titanium has Titanium has, it has a strike running along here. And those, you can see that it sort of continues down into this area. And we can see that there's 
scratch lines along this direction. We also see scratch lines out here coming out at a, a different angle. Now, within our embedded piece of iron, we can see rust down in this spot, some rust down in this location, a bit of rust up here and in here. But we also see another embedded piece, a small meteorite, two, two millimeters in length, embedded up here some rust on the end of it. In this, we see just a speck of rust, probably the meteorite, the iron meteorite is less visible. Although this, this could be it here. Looks like, looks like it could be flattened in there. And you can see the, the fusion crust with flaking taking place. It's just a light gray in this case. It's not black. This fusion crust is much darker with lighter areas in between where it's flaked off.